Hello my viewers, welcome to this sharing of the word of God. My name is Leverett Joseph Chuguna. I'm saved and I love the Lord Jesus Christ and my Lord and Savior. I minister with the full gospel church of Kenya in Jabine, Nyandora County. I'm dealing, I'm speaking with dealing with fear. With fear is something that affects people's lives in many ways and many people experience May I say that nobody can claim that he or she have never encountered this emotion or have never been faced with fear. Probably even you now who is reasoning and watching, to me, watching me now, you may be undergoing fear. But we want to speak today how we can be dealing with fear and you that is in a state of fear now, how you can come out of that fear. We want to read from, see from the Bible how we can deal with the fear in our lives. In other words, we're speaking with dealing with the fear in our lives. Let me say, the key to overcoming fear is knowing your relationship with God. The key to overcoming every kind of fear in your life is knowing your relationship with God. We are going to use Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1 to 3. I'm going to be discussing it as I bring out different points of how we can deal or with the fear in our lives. The Bible says, okay, now Isaiah 43, verse 1 to 3. In the first one, it says, But now, this is what the Lord says He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel. That is the first part, part A of Isaiah 43, verse 1. We can say, or we can deduce from that verse, that through this, you are assured that God is the one who formed and created you. That's why I said that the key of overcome, to, de to overcoming fear, or dealing with fear, is your relationship with God. Through this, you are assured that God is the one who formed and created you. That is why he's saying in verse 1a, but now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear. So one key to dealing with the fear is your relationship with God. Why? Usually, the circumstances that face us and make us afraid, they have got the power and they are bigger than our ability. But when you have got a relationship with the Almighty God, the omnipotent God, the all power of God, who, has, who does not know any defeat, whom no enemy can stand against, when you have a relationship with that God, you can be able to face any danger, any kind of fear, because you have a relationship with God. God. So as I said is that you know that God is the one who formed you and he created you. And when you have a relationship with him, you are able to deal with the fear in your life. The second thing we can see from this verse, verse is that he as she tells you that he is the one who has redeemed you. Because God has redeemed you, you should not fear. That's why he's saying in the same verse, part B, he says, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. God was addressing Israelites. Now he is addressing you. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I said the start that the key to dealing with the fear is your relationship with God. And you know that the relationship exists. So we can see here, the Bible is saying, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. Once you know you are a redeemer, when you know who have redeemed you, there you'll be able to deal with fear. You'll be able to overcome every type of fear in your life because you know you are a redeemer. You see, God was speaking to Israel because he is the one who has redeemed them. 
he, has, he had delivered them from the power of the Egyptian and also through the wickedness, through the wilderness, sorry, through the wilderness. There were so many things that they faced, but because God is the one who had redeemed them, he was able to, to protect them and to give them victory over any danger or enemy. So the same, these people of Israel were redeemed by God. We are also being redeemed by the blood of Jesus. In fact, the Bible says in the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 13, that we have been delivered from the power of darkness and we have been entered in the kingdom of his son, the kingdom of light. So because God has redeemed us, because we have been redeemed with God, by God, with the blood of Jesus Christ, and we have a relationship with God, it helps us to be able, able to overcome fear. So I can tell you, my friend, you is watching me because of redemption of the blood of Jesus Christ in your life. Remove fear. You can face fear and say, fear, I'm not going to allow you to dominate me because I have redeemed, been redeemed by the almighty God. The third thing we see from the same first is that we know that God knows us and has called each one of us by our names. We are, not, we are able to deal with fear because you know that God knows you and he calls you by name. In the, first, the same chapter, for the first one seed says, I have summoned you by name. You are mine. Let me repeat again. Isaiah 43, verse 1 c it says, I have summoned you by name. You are mine. So because God has called you by your name and he knows you by your name, there's no need of fear. You can overcome every type of fear because you are known by God and God calls you by his name, by your name. And he says that you, are, you belong to him. So by knowing that God has called you, by knowing that God has called me and he knows me by his name, it doesn't matter the kind of fear that is facing me, but I will not fear because God knows me by his name. And he knows what I'm going through, therefore I'm not going to fear. So my friend, do not fear because God who has called you by his, your name and he knows you and he's saying you are his. The other thing we can see, the, continuing with that passage or Isaiah 43, we go to verse 3, 2 and 3, sorry. You trust God to keep his word and save you. Even when you are going through dangers that can make you feel fear. He says, trust God to keep his word and save you. In the first 2 and 3, it says this. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burnt. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of God. Israel, you are savior. So you, you trust God to keep that word. Even if you are, an, you are being encountered by a danger, by your enemies, fear of diseases, fear of contacting, contacting the disease that's affecting everybody in the world, you shall not fear. Fear of being attacked by force of darkness, you shall not fear because you trust God to keep his word, which he has said that even when you pass through the waters, they shall not pass off through you. They shall not sweep over you. When you pass through the fires, you shall not be burned. So because you have a relationship with God and you trust in his word, you are able to overcome fear. The other way you can be able to overcome fear is to avoid listening to negative words and people who instill fear. This is very important. Because when people listen to negative ones and people who instill fear, as we said in another series, is that fear is contagious. The words that you hear, once they get assimilated in you, they produce in you negative feelings of fear. So if you want to deal with fear, do not entertain or listen to negative words always. Or the people who instill fear. In the book of Numbers chapter 13 and 14, the ten spies who were among the twelve who were sent by Moses in the land of Canaan to spy the land for 40 days, the words that they brought to people of Israel, they told them the land is good, but the people there, they are giants. And when we looked at them, we compared ourselves with them. We were like grasshoppers. And they also said, that the Lord eats his people. 
those words, when they entered to the people, uh, the ears of the Israelites, they produced fear in them, and all of them became fearful. So I want to tell you, if you want to deal with the fear, avoid listening to negative words and people who instill fear. Even now, whenever we are, even when we are receiving news from all, all over the world, in our country, what is happening, how many people are getting diseases, we should not allow those ones to, to be final. We should not allow those ones to, to be, they are going to be the, forming the framework of our mind. Because when you allow them always to be listening, to, we allow ourselves to be listening to expose ourselves to these kinds of words, we, what is going to be bathed or produced in our minds is fear. May God bless you as you continue dealing with fear. Thank you. <laughs>